Hey everyone, in a previous video I showed you how to use the Pitbull rear stand and in this video I am going to show you how to use the Pitbull front stand and in this case this particular stand is considered a hybrid stand because you can use it using two different methods. You can use it uh, by lifting directly underneath the forks or you can use it by lifting underneath the triple tree or the steering head. So let's get into it. Before I get started, let me first say that one of the reasons why I like using the stands is so I can have the, both the tires rotate freely. So that enables me to clean the bike uh, that much easier uh, and then trying to have them to squeeze my hand in tight places or move the bike around to try and get access to various places of the wheels. I can just have it stationary and then just spin the wheels. So it makes it that much easier. Also, I want to mention that in the description below, you will see links to the videos relating to uh, how to use the rear Pitbull stand and also links to all of the Pitbull products uh, directly on their website. So anyway, let's get started. So as you can see, I already do have it on the rear stand and that's imperative because the motorcycle must be stable uh, before you go doing anything with the front tire or the front wheel because it's not as stable up there. So you really have two options depending on the motorcycle that you have. Um, you can either put it on a rear stand or if your motorcycle happens to have a center stand uh, then you can do the, use the center stand as well. But it's imperative that you have that stable before moving to the front. Alright, so now that we already have it up there and again if you want to see how I got to that position uh, the link to using the rear stand is in the description below. Alright, so right now, again, this is a hybrid stand, so you can use it two ways. Right now I have the swivels and the pads in place, um, so I am going to show you how to lift it underneath the forks. So it's pretty straightforward. You just simply position the swivels underneath of the forks, putting one pad on each side of the fork, as shown here and you want to try and make it even on both sides so it's not too much on one side so you'll have to just kind of play with it a little bit now one thing I want to note on the VMAX you want to be careful and not pinch the uh, sensor for the ABS so be aware that that is there and try and work your way around it and do not have it resting on there so for me I tend to favor it a little bit more on one side than the other just to try and avoid that All right. Once it's in place, it's pretty simple. All you do is just like using the rear stand, you just push down on the handle. Once you've got everything securely in place, and that's it. It's as easy as that. The motorcycle isn't going anywhere. As you can see, it's pretty stable. You can do pretty much whatever you need to do. And again, I like doing this. Oftentimes I'll put it on both stands. So I, when I'm cleaning the, my bike, I can rotate the wheels and clean every nook and cranny on the rims, uh, even the brake rotors and, and everywhere else I need to get. All right, so that's pretty much it on how to get it up there. Taking it down, just as easy as doing the rear stand. You just simply grab the handle, gradually lift up on it. You can feel the weight take over, and that's it. Just wheel it out of your way. So that's all there is to that. Now, like I said, it's a hybrid stand, so there are two ways that you can do it. This part here will swivel and you will see a pin up here and the pin will go underneath of the triple tree or the steering head, whatever you want to call it, but there's a hole in there and you just put the pin in there. Now, the pins come in various sizes and this is the one specifically for the VMAX and you will notice that when you're on the website. So once you punch in your motorcycle, it will tell you exactly which pin you need to use. Now, uh, in order to use this, uh, the pin underneath the triple tree, these need to come out because they will get in the way. So I will do that right now. It's just a couple of pins. Release those. And it just slides right out of place. All right, now that we have the swivels and the pads out of the way, um, we can wheel this in place. And again, just to show you, this is all on a swivel. So as you bring it in close to your bike to get it lined up, be careful not to scratch your fender. So I put my hand uh, between the pin and the fender. So 
Uh, I don't mind scuffing my hand, but I'm not going to scuff my fender. So, and then lined it up, put the pin up inside uh, the hole underneath the triple, push it all the way up until it's flush, and then once you're in there, you are ready to go. So all you have to do is simply push down on the handle, just like you did earlier, and that's it. Back in business, again, it's pretty stable, it's not going anywhere, so you have the freedom to do what you want. One thing I do want to mention right now that's imperative, particularly when you're using uh, the stand in this fashion, using the pin up underneath the triple tree, is it is adjustable. Uh, the height of this is adjustable, so you'll have to adjust it to make sure that when you do push down on the handle, it lifts it high enough to get the tire off the ground so you have clearance. Because remember, you're extending the forks uh, while doing that, so when you're taking that load off of the forks, uh, there's a lot of room that it's going to expand before you actually get the tire off of the ground, unlike when you were lifting it underneath of the forks. Um, here, you have to wait for those forks to expand. So when it came in the default position, which was at its very lowest, it wasn't high enough. So I experimented and I had to drop it basically uh, two notches in order to have enough clearance. For me right now, this is enough clearance to uh, rotate the tire so I can clean it. Um, in the future, I don't know if that would be enough clearance for me to remove the tire, uh, but I would have to experiment with that when that time comes, uh, which is another reason why I got this front stand. So in the event that I do need to take the tires off for a replacement, uh, hopefully this will do the trick. And if I do that, I will let you know in another video. But anyway, that's all there is to this video. Pretty simple, almost just as easy as using the rear stand. Again, the, the description to videos for other uh, Pitbull products where I demonstrate that are uh, below in the description. And also direct links to these products are on the Pitbull website and those are in the description as well. Hopefully this video helped you out. See you next time. <laughs>